Hey y'all, so I realized I failed to do kind of an introduction to what you're about to see. Uh, first, we head over to the Our Lady of Guadalupe slash International Shrine of St. Jude down in New Orleans uh, back in the 1820s. This is the oldest church structure in New Orleans. Uh, basically, in the 1820s, it was set up as the Yellow Fever Chapel. So when people would be contracted and sadly die from yellow fever, that's where they would hell, hold excuse me, the funeral because they didn't want it they forbid anyone to go into the St. Louis Cathedral in downtown because they didn't want to possibly contaminate downtown and the cathedral so that became the makeshift church it used to be called the St. Anthony's Chapel back in the 1800s and then later became Our Lady of Guadalupe and then in the sometime in the 1900s I don't I forgot when but uh, they set up a novena to St. Jude and had a huge devotion and it finally was established as an international shrine and they actually have a relic of St. Jude in the church. Um, so anyways, that is a little bit of info. So when you're seeing uh, the church, uh, it's a small quaint church. Um, it's kind of like I said on the outskirts, it's uh, kind of in the inner city area. It's also dedicated to the police and fire and uh, but overall, it's a beautiful church, beautiful statue of St. Jude, Our Lady of Guadalupe. And then, as you'll see, I then we head over, Randall and I head over to um, the cathedral of St. Louis. So, anyways, enjoy.
All right, so that was the St. Louis Cathedral, Basilica Cathedral, and we lucked out. Uh, Randall, we got there super early, and Google says it wasn't supposed to open until 5 p.m. on Saturdays, so I was really worried, but uh, Randall over here suggested that we just go walk around for a little while, so we did, and we got lost, and walked back in, and literally right when we walked right up to the cathedral after what, like an hour, hour and 45 something minutes, like, like 345, the guy, one of the crew came in and Open was the unlocking the gate as we were walking it back up to check and see. Uh, so, you know, God's timing, <laughs> providence, whatever. Uh, it's it's awesome, and that's the great thing about pilgrimages, right? It's you just you get laid over, you hand it over to God, and He'll, he'll take care of you. That's the that's the moral of the story. He will take care of it. All right. Well, that will do it for this series, if you will, uh, for the series of. Final thoughts, Randall. Any, what do you think? First time? That was really cool. I'm glad we did it during the day. <laughs> yeah, New Orleans is one of those places where you have to, you know, just keep your wits about you. Um, most everybody's friendly, but there are also a lot of drunk people, uh, and you just kind of, kind of roll with it. Um, but overall, you know, it's one of those places when you first get there, you're like, uh, but then by the time you're in it and you're leaving you're like it wasn't that bad yeah uh, especially if you have a beignet some coffee uh unfortunately we didn't get a chance to have any of the creole cuisine um but that'll be for next time i'm sure uh, this won't be the last time uh, for either of us uh, as far as you know recommendations as you've seen uh, there's a couple other places we didn't get to go to like the old cathedral of saint patrick's uh, there was a catholic cultural center uh, that was closed, unfortunately, that we couldn't get into. So that's another place. A lot of Catholic tradition, history. I guess final thoughts is, uh, you know, just a, it's a unique place. There's no other place like it in the world. Uh, no other city like it. And I uh, would highly recommend, if you're in the South, to, you know, spend a day, spend two days if you can. Uh, we actually came down Friday night. This is Saturday of the recording, and we're actually gonna drive back tonight, surprise my wife, and uh, so that way we don't have to uh, spend another day uh, and traveling uh, all day. We just do it during the night. So that will do it uh, for this one, and uh, talk to y'all later. God bless, bye.